watching porn secretly because you don't want to be found because you'll feel guilt and shame or getting false dopamine hits from doing something that makes you feel guilty and gives you shame when i do something shameful and that i feel guilty about i get dopamine hits you know how sometimes we find ourselves a bit too into our screens chasing that quick rush well today we're going to talk about something pretty real the impact of porn on men's lives it's one of those topics that's kind of awkward to bring up but it's super important and trust me it's not just you it's the thing that many of us are quietly dealing with and who better to walk us through than this is Pedro Scully he got this incredible way of talking about tough stuff that make him feel on do and do Pedro really gets into the heart of why we might turn to porn and what it's going to do to us on the inside beyond just the momentary thrill he's here to share some eye opening stuff that could change how we see things have you ever thought about why we feel a bit low after seeking that digital high mentros has some thoughts on that as well and it's not about making us feel guilty it's about understanding what's really going beneath the surface like how it affects our vibe and the energy we carry around pretty fascinating stuff ready to drive into something a bit but super relevant it's about figuring out why what feels like a private choice can start to mess with our heads and even how we connect with others bedros is here to help us unpack all that without judgment just some honest talk and maybe finding a better way forward we are not just going over the same old warnings about porn We're looking at how to break free from anything that holds us back from being our best self and having the most intimate relationship with our partners. So let's get into it together and see where this conversation takes us. Why is pornography bad? Pornography is bad for one simple reason, and that is that you are getting false dopamine hits from doing something that makes you feel guilty and gives you shame. If you look at this uh all of you can google vibration chart. Like all of us have a vibration. Everything in in life has a vibration. In fact, there's a there's a true story. There was a bridge in Baltimore that was built like in the 60s. Dude, it's crazy. And the way they built the bridge, etc., it had the same vibrational frequency as wind at 22 miles an hour, right? So when wind kicked up to 22 miles an hour, that 22 mile an hour wind and the vibrational status of that bridge were in line and this bridge would start vibrating and shaking and swaying and cars were getting like tossed around oh, yeah. they had to demolish that whole bridge and rebuild it vibrations real like you've been around people you walk in you meet them and immediately you feel this weird like low energy right. like you're just sucking out the energy of the room right yep. that's a low frequency person right and you've been around high frequency people and so if you look up the frequency chart or vibrational chart of humans you'll see that guilt and shame are at the very bottom and they rank it like vibration level like 5 and 6 right in the middle is acceptance acceptance that i'm going to accept that i'm a flawed human but i'm going to take action in becoming a better human that's vibrational level 400 at the very top of that pyramid of frequency or vibration is self actualization happiness fulfillment gratitude that is a vibration level of 12 to 1400 mm-hmm. in terms of frequency right, right? And so when you are watching porn you're getting dopamine hits and those dopamine hits you're conditioning yourself okay when i do something shameful and that i feel guilty about i get dopamine hits oh my god i do not want to get this awesome great dopamine hit that's supposed to be good for me mm-hmm. like working out that's a dopamine hit right. making love to your spouse that's a good dopamine hit right um doing a hard day's work and feeling accomplished that's a good dopamine hit watching porn secretly because you don't want to be found because you'll feel guilt and shame and getting a dopamine hit you're conditioning yourself to get dopamine out of negativity negative things number 1 number 2 guilt and shame are very low on the frequency chart so you just feel like a low vibrating human and you attract low bad negative stuff into your life and number 3 and this is recently has recently been found in the last 12 months 12 to 14 months there's something called porn induced 
erectile dysfunction. Mm -hmm. Porn-induced erectile dysfunction. So there used to be a time that people were starting to get impotent or would have erectile dysfunction in their 40s and 50s and 60s as they get older, right? Right. Now, young kids, teens, kids in their 20s and their 30s are, are unable to get an erection and have sex because they're so used to watching a porn scene that is so exaggerated, mm -hmm. so over the top, that has released so much intense dopamines when you're watching the threesome, foursome, gangbangs, whatever the fuck it is that you weirdos are into. <laughs> and I don't judge you, I've been down that path, but I stopped. But when you're into that shit and then you come home to your beautiful spouse and you just have to make love to her, you're like, well, I don't know, man. Like, it's not eight of you <laughs> on top of each other with weird tools and gadgets and a swing and a, and a, and right. a ball gag from Pulp Fiction, <laughs> right? Shout out to Quentin Tarantino and Pulp Fiction. You know what I'm talking about, Maine. By the way, Ed's not here today. Maine's got the, Maine's got the cameras. And so, uh, fuck, bro. How are you going to be able to make sweet love to your wife if you can't get hard because you've got porn-induced impotence? Yeah. That's sad. So that is why pornography is absolutely bad for you. But I'm telling you right now, they have designed pornography where even a little bit becomes a lot mm -hmm. because then you want the next you want the next you want the next and you realize that holy crap i'm addicted it's just like a vape pen it's like oh i only take a hit here and i take a hit there and then you see the dudes on a plane who are fiending for a hit from a vape pen because they've been on a three-hour flight and they can't wait to just run out of that terminal and take <laughs> a hit of their vape pen I don't ever want anything to enslave my mind and heart that way. No.